are there features that are really routing protocol independent? Think about it. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of them. Like when you create a static route, you create a static route independent of whatever dynamic routing protocol might be in place. Think about a tunnel. When you build a tunnel, it might be completely independent of the dynamic routing protocol infrastructure. That's why we have this course, so we can talk about protocol independent routing features along with tunnels. Isn't it amazing how much content makes up the JNCIS ENT program? I mean, we went through layer two together. Then we did a bunch of layer three interior gateway protocols and one very popular exterior gateway protocol. Now we find ourselves in the protocol independent routing tunnels section, and then we will wrap up all of these courses with a very important course on high availability. But our focus is on PRI and tunnels, and let me show you exactly what we'll cover in this course together. So within this course, we really do have two kind of sections, don't we? Notice this section right here is all about our protocol independent routing features. So we'll learn about things like load balancing and filter-based forwarding and statics and aggregates and routes that we can generate and Martian addresses. <laughs> Just last night I saw the movie starring Matt Damon, The Martian, and man, this course is going to be even cooler than that movie. All right, well, maybe that's a tough claim. That was a very, very good film. For some reason, I didn't think it would be any good, but I was surprised at how much I liked it. Anyways, back to our information at hand. We've got all of these protocol and independent things we'll look at, and many of them I'll teach you how to configure. Like, I'll definitely give you an example of how we would do filter-based forwarding, for instance, at the command line. But then from a tunnel perspective, we're going to learn how to build tunnels for a wide variety of really protocol independent purposes, and we'll look Look at both GRE, that's generic routing encapsulation tunnels, and we'll look at IP in IP tunnels as well. Now, just like with the other JNCIS ENT courses here at CBT Nuggets, you're going to find that I do something really pretty cool. I'm going to label hands-on labs appropriately as hands-on lab nuggets. Now, what that means is we're going to have a lot of students here that are really just interested in the theory. They'll skip the hands-on lab nuggets. They don't care how a GRE tunnel is implemented on a Juniper router, for instance. They just wanted to learn all about JRE tunnels. So there will be a distinction in the hands on lab portion, and that's why I did it that way. For those of you interested in those Juniper hands-on labs, please join me. Get some equipment, either virtual or real, something you own or something you rent, and follow along with those hands-on labs. I'll make it very easy for you to do that. Something else that we'll do as we move through is we'll do pop quizzes. I'll make these as close to the actual exam as I possibly can for you. And yes, I'll be taking notes as we go throughout this material. And from my notes, I'll be creating flashcards. In fact, the very next nugget of this course will teach you how you acquire those electronic flashcards and how you use them. I'm sure if you know my other courses, you know my introductions tend to be very, very brief to a course. Why? I don't want to spend a lot of time what we're going to be talking about. I want to spend a lot of time with the actual content itself. With that said, let's jump into our course. I hope this nugget was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.